Hey, what's going on everybody? BDF 44 coming at you with another video. So, I'm very curious to know what's going on with Marvin Bagley in Sacramento. Um, I know he's healthy. Uh, you know, they asked Luke Walton. Uh, I read up somewhere uh, where, you know, basically he was saying that Luke Walton had been quoted saying that basically, you know, the kid is going to have a great opportunity to make the rotation. Everyone needs to be ready on the team because they're going to need everybody this season. And it's like, yeah, that's a roundabout way of basically saying, um, you know, when he, when we get the green light to play him, we'll play him. That's essentially what, what Luke, Wal Luke Walton was saying there. And in my opinion, it's kind of an awkward situation because you've seen this many times in the past. You've seen it now with John Wall where they're just waiting for a deal to be in place and I think I know what's going on here <clears throat> Sacramento wants to be in play for Ben Simmons or Kyrie Irving or whoever may come up about you know over the next several weeks Dame who knows what what will happen but uh, you know that's those are the names that are being floated out there as players who probably could be moved mid-season if something uh, big were to take place it would probably involve one of them that's basically what I'm saying. So any trade pieces that these teams have that they definitely want to involve in these trades, uh, and that maybe I've had injury risk and things of that nature, they just don't want to risk it. You know, they want to make sure that those, those pieces are healthy so that that trade can go through. But what I would tell them is you need to be careful because what you don't want to have happen is for teams to start thinking that well, Marvin Bagley is already a player who's underachieved some had injury issues in the past, how good is his conditioning when he's not able to play basketball? You know, uh, how can his trade value remain as it is when he's not running? No different than Kyrie and, and Ben Simmons. You know, when you're making the argument, when it's time to pay for uh, Ben Simmons, if you're trying to make a trade and you're sitting there saying, well, we haven't seen him, you know what I mean? So let us see him on your team before making a trade. Well, they can turn that back around on you and say, well, Marvin Bagley's value is significantly lower because we ain't seen him. You know, so it's like Sacramento needs to be very careful. And I think Houston does as well um, to not allow these players to get so far out of the mind's eye that their value just diminishes off the strength of that. Um, I understand that you want to keep them healthy and not play them so that, you know, you can keep them within these trades. But at the end of the day, their value too needs to be able to be at a standard so that you can get those trades off so and plus these players you know they want to play man they're in their primes some of them are exiting their primes and entering their primes in Bagley's case it's just not best that they don't be playing ball right now they need to be playing ball they need to be getting better a guy like Bagley needs to be getting stronger he needs to be working on his game he needs to be able to to find his niche in this league um and I just feel like having him on the sideline <clears throat> is uh, is a disservice to him as an athlete, but it's also a disservice to uh, your team because at the end of the day, he's a serviceable player at this stage in his career who can help you. Uh, a center on the floor, a power forward, a uh, combination player who can who can do th some things on both ends of the floor. He's not a player that, that can't produce. He's just a guy who's always injured. And I think inconsistency is not going to help with that sitting him for long periods of time it's not going to help him so um, it, it's upon but Bagley and his representation to um, try to keep him in shape and I think you know as as we're seeing the theme in the NBA and as I said in a previous video guys like that needs to be playing need to be playing in the G League you know it has nothing to do with with development in this case it's just about conditioning because that's the only other way you're going to be able to stay in ball game shape so while he's sitting on the sideline trying to stay healthy um you know that's cool you know what i mean i, I mean it defeats the purpose if he goes to the g league and gets hurt but at the same time it's like he's got to do what he has to do to stay fit he has to do what he has to do to stay as an athlete in tip-top shape you know while he's being attached to his contract thus attached to the uh, wishes of the organization ultimately when he leaves the organization he's his own athlete and he has to be responsible for himself his brand and ultimately his future so while he is attached to that contract and thus must do what it is that 
that's entailed, which is sitting in this case. It also goes against what he's able to do after the contract expires. It kind of affects those things. So as I see it in my mind, I'm just like, you know what, somewhere in that, they not they need to figure out where the imbalance is because there is some imbalance to this. I saw this happen with Andre Drummond last year. You know, he came to the Lakers. He wasn't his best self. He was out of shape. You see him in Philadelphia right now, getting the same minutes he had with them, with the Lakers, putting up big numbers and playing much better for Philly. And it's just because his conditioning is where it needs to be because he's in game shape. So I think about a guy like John Wall who's had injuries, multiple injuries that require surgery. If he's in shape, he should be running. You know, you don't want your body to start thinking you're retired. You know what I mean? Um, Kyrie Irving, same thing, dude. It's like guys who've had injuries, you don't want your your muscles to get weak and then your bones start thinking it's time to relax. Like, uh, you know, as you age, it starts getting harder to get back in shape. And that's one of the things I think Dame might be going through as well in his shooting slump. Um, it may be, have something to do with his conditioning needs changing right before his eyes and, and needing to do different things or, or, or what have you. Because once you start hitting 30, 31, 32, your body starts going through some, some significant changes. And sometimes they're subtle, but other times it's just like it has to do with how you feel when you when you go out and do physical things. So it's just like I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but for players who are sitting trying to get back out there after a year or so you're asking your body to do a lot um, so you know I mean we've seen Michael Jordan do it it's not an issue we've seen players leave the game and come back uh, but I just think in this day and age it's a bit different when you're going up against athletes who are significantly uh, better conditioned from night to night it's just like you need to be better conditioned from night to night maybe you could get away with that in the past in certain cases uh, because uh, the other guy might not necessarily be in his shape as well. You know, that kind of thing might not be a tip-top shape, but from night to night, you're running into players that are, you know, just uh, in the best shape possible. So I, I just feel you need to be as well. Um, and the only way to be in basketball shape is to be on the court, as we all know. So, yeah, as far as Marvin's concerned, I hope they're able to find a trade soon. Um, you know, if they're waiting on Ben Simmons, I mean, there are a lot of suitors for him, so um, I would imagine they'd have other trades in place as well. But, you know, for, for Bagley, I know his representation's already sounded off on this. Uh, I'm just curious to know how long it's going to last. You know, is this going to be something that drags into All-Star, you know, weekend? Is it, you know, I'm just very curious to know what's going to happen there. Just have a little more clarity in regards to Kyrie Irving's situation because he's, you know, if he decides to take the, the vaccination, he could play. So that's that's understood. Ben Simmons' situation, we know, is pending. We've talked about that a million times. But Bagley's situation is just like, it's like he's just kind of stuck. And, uh, you know, it's just a very curious thing. So, yeah, that's what I got, man. My name is BDF44. Thank you all for watching. Out. Oh.